Okay. You two didn't get along. You, you said it yourself. All you ever did was fight. So who is he? You slept with him? Twice? I'm going home. All right, hold it. That's all we ever did. I'm telling you, we fought and fought, and then we had great sex. We never really could talk. Yesterday you told me you didn't want to see me. Cheap talk. I love you very much, Mary. I know you do. Oh, I know you do. I guess that's the same as I love you too. Sure. Albert Brooks and Catherine Harold in Modern Romance. If it isn't love, what is it? I love you very much. Mary. Peggy Sue married her high school sweetheart 25 years ago. We just got married too young and ended up blaming each other for all the things we missed. But tonight, at her high school reunion... Well, Charlie won't be here tonight. Um, we're getting divorced, actually. Instead of reliving old times... If I uh, knew then what I know now, I'd do a lot of things differently. She's about to take a trip through time and land in her senior year of high school. But how did I get here? What is going on? No, no, no. Francis Coppola takes you back to an unexpected place. Do you think time travel is possible? Kathleen Turner. What do you think, Peggy? <laughs> you bought an Edsel. <laughs> Charlie, let's make love. What? 
You mean sex? Peggy Sue got married. Okay, so right after graduation, we should settle down and get married. No, I already did that. Columbia Pictures is pleased to announce that Mike Nichols has made a movie about traditional American value. Transporting a woman across a state line for immoral purposes. <laughs> That's a lot of crap. Do you, Jack Nicholson, and do you, Warren Beatty, take this woman to be your lawfully wedded wife? I think I know who this is. Shut up. Oh, my God, I said to myself, this is the party. Excuse me. Have we met? Yes, dear, you have. This is your husband, Oscar Salah. Oh, I am sorry. How do you do? Sit on my lap, you cutie. Give me a piece of candy. Well, you're getting a premature divorce, kiddo. I just consummated the whole thing, so there's no loopholes. You take me for a moron. It just makes me sick. Thank you. Do you, Warren Beatty, and do you, Jack Nicholson, take this woman? She's worth a fortune. You just straighten the picture on the wall right now. The minute that her daddy finds out she's eloped off with some dumb old bank teller from East Providence, he's gonna disinherit her. Bingo! You're Nikki's little bell. You got to see mama every night. Oh, you can't see mama at all. Where am I? In Providence. Ben. Stockard Channing, take these dastards. What am I gonna say? What are we gonna say? What are we gonna say? What can you say when you've put your sweetie in a trunk and pushed her out to sea? Suicide. That you love her like a brother-in-law? I have thought of that. I've thought of it. I'm gonna stay here until someone nice comes along, you damn popo faces! <laughs> The motion picture that proves it takes three to tango, if you don't count the chicken. Everyone knows that Moses was the chosen one. Farewell, my son. Nobody knows about Herschel, the one who thought he was chosen. The one true God spoke to me on the mountain. Moses is the chosen one that God has called upon to deliver us out of bondage. Mm, no, God called upon me. No! This is a man who believed he was holy Moses. No challenge was beyond his grasp. I think I've got a real feel for them. Great army has followed him. He 